What is up everybody, it's the Anime Watcher here and for today we're going to be continuing where we left off in Blue Archives Volume 4 Chapter 2. Now I'm pretty excited about this episode because one, we are finally going to see the reunion between the Rabbit Squad and the Fox Squad. A reunion that I was really excited for since Chapter 1 since they were first established as the Rabbit Squad seniors. Again, the Fox Squad looks cool and in this chapter we get to see their perspective and all of this. We get to see their we get to see them questioning about whether they're still in the right when we get to see their ideals now and yeah and we also get to see how the rabbit squad was doing in the last episode we thanked the rabbit squad for you know rescuing us in volume f and they deserve that because without them um i don't think kibodos would have survived if they weren't there to respond to our call so yeah I guess that's about it for today. Well, I'm not gonna end the video, but <laughs> why, why did I go into like outro mode? Okay, so I've got nothing else to say, pretty honest. Uh, I'm pretty excited to see what this episode has in store for me. So let's just jump right into the video, shall we? Okay, here we go. An unexpected reunion. Here we go. They're finally gonna meet after since the closing of SRT. Rabbit One reporting. The time is. 1625 hours we follow the gps signal rabbit 3 send us to the pinpoint the location of the suspect who infiltrated point sierra confirming arrival at the site it is currently raining at point romeo the drop off point and visibility is down to about 500 meters all units please exercise caution um th this is rabbit 4 Thankfully, the weather's kind of making it so nobody's around here right now. No hidden enemies. We're not in immediate danger of ambush. And I'm in a good position if anything happens. Copy that, Rabbit2. Please report. Rabbit2 here. I've cut the circuits. The alarm sensors are down for the count. For now, at least. But, you know... Is there a problem, Rabbit2? Not exactly a problem, but does this building look kind of familiar to anyone else? Did you shock yourself cutting the circuits? We've never had an operation here before, dummy. That's not what I meant. It's like the layout? I don't know. The structure feels familiar. It's kind of like the indoor warfare range at the SRT training facility, isn't it? Three floors and entrances? And when I was reviewing the blueprints Moe gave us, I thought the maze-like layout inside seemed familiar. <laughs> it actually is kind of familiar, isn't it? Although, someone would have started shooting at us by now if it was a training exercise. P please don't jinx it. But I do feel better knowing we've kinda done this before. That's right. Since we're familiar with the terrain, it'll be easier for us to predict and adapt throughout encounters. But, buildings with this layout are usually easier to defend. Back in our mock battles, the defenders usually had the upper hand, so I'm kinda nervous. <laughs> Big bad. We're elite agents of SRT. Saki is scared? Come on! Who cares what kind of defense or weapons they have? We'll just have to do what we always do. Easy peasy. Ugh, I think I had to be cheered up by you. Fine, fine. If PMC's elites armed to the tooth can't beat us, who can? Uh, and I'll be watching our backs. We just have to work together. Rabbit 2, everyone, to positions. Let's go. Ooh, I kind of wonder how this is going to play out. Breaching! I've secured our entry path. Rabbit 1, taking the building. Oh, I really am curious how this is going to play out. Okay. Site A, clear. Site B, clear. Continuing the Site C. This is strange. We're deep into their territory now and they still haven't made contact. Are they being cautious of us? I haven't made any mistakes so far. I'm staying aware of potential movements or traps, but it still feels like I'm missing something. This is Rabbit 2. Rabbit 1, we've run into a barricade. We can't breach. Do you want us to break through it? Is... 
No. Avoid giving away your position at all costs. Find a way around if you can. Understood. Going to start moving towards the center aisle. Continue. Ah! Hello? Was it a gunshot? Rabbit 2, report in. Saki! I can't get through. Did she lose her communicator? Rabbit 4, requesting an update on the situation. Rabbit 3, our GPS doesn't seem to be... We're being jammed! I'm jammed. No signals coming in or out. We're all caught up from each other. I won't be able to rely on any backup. The enemy was in perfect sync. Ambush the point, jam communications, and isolate each member at all at once before anyone knows what happened. It was a simple straightforward plan but nearly impossible to execute. The amount of coordination that would have been required and in complete silence at that. I need to tread carefully. That doesn't matter right now though. To start, I have to rescue Saki. Behind you! Uh, ambush? I didn't notice them close in at all. Oh my god, they got humbled. Oh wait, no, okay. So she's now thinking. And I'm guessing at this point she's blocking the enemy's attacks. Think, Miko. The passageway is too narrow for my primary weapon to be useful. Close combat isn't my specialty, but I'm still an SRT agent. Upset my opponent's center of gravity. Take advantage when they lose balance. Foxtrot. A flash bomb? This close? Okay. One point five seconds. Reactions are slow. You took too long to reorient after the explosion and flash. You moved exactly per the CQB manual, but the real world doesn't follow your textbooks. Your movements are too predictable. You should have taken the initiative and rushed me. Stop moving. I might accidentally break your arm. You're no ordinary soldier. Who are you? Does who I am change anything? You went into this operation thinking, I'm SRT. I can handle whatever might lie ahead of us. Didn't you? Lazy. Undisciplined. Always assume the worst case scenario, kid. Even the best, most experienced veteran can be taken out by a stray bullet on a battlefield. That is true, actually. Courageous warriors don't live long here. A good special forces soldier conducts themselves with cowardice or you'll end up dead. Wait, I know that voice. It, it can't be. It's been quite some time, squad leader, Tsukiyuki Miyako. Hello, Yukino. Oh god, I called her Kurumi before. Okay, I'm so sorry, Yukino. You look well. Yukino? Yukino-senpai? Oh, pretty short episode, huh? And that is going to be it for today's video, everyone. I know it's a pretty short video, to be honest. But that's where the episode le ends off. I, I was supposed to say it leads off, but then I messed it up. But I'm just going to go with it. So then, that's where the episode ends off, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. So please leave a like and subscribe if you did. Or hit the bell notification below so you'll be notified of when I would upload my next video. Or when I would go live. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. And I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. See ya!